Hey everybody, Father Peter here. Welcome to my video log. I'm so pleased you've joined us here for a moment. You know, when I was a kid, I grew up with Captain Kangaroo. That was my show. And the cool guy was Mr. Green Jeans. Mr. Green Jeans was a farmer. So I come into you as uh, Father Peter in blue jeans with a little bit of uh, a little bit of air conditioning. So Father Peter in blue jeans is here at the Gospel Garden, one of these great outreach ministries of St. Mark's Church, which grows all this organic food to go to the food pantry and to feed folks. Uh, to tell you a little bit more about an evolving agrarian ministry in the Episcopal Church. St. Mark's has been part of the agrarian ministry in the Episcopal Church for 11 years. We've been at the cutting edge of it. Uh, in fact, it's been an amazing thing. Brian Holstein, who you're gonna see and meet again in a moment, uh, came to me 11 years ago and said, I got an idea. This is the fruit of that idea. Really, really incredible. Uh, every year we produce over 2,000 pounds of organic vegetables that goes right there to the food pantry and on to other places as well. New movement. So we're in a time where food insecurity looks to be a terrible looming problem. Is a great problem already for so many people. The statistics are horrifying at the number of people who do not have food and we can do something about that. And the ministry in the Episcopal Church is moving toward something called Good News Gardening. And Good News Gardens uh, mimic themselves to victory, victory gardens that we as a country had during World War I and World War II. Now I want to introduce you to some people here. Uh, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, the great trinity of our Godhead. Well, the Gospel Garden has its own trinity. It has Bob Bounton, it has Brian Holstein, and it has Margaret Roscoe. And never was there a more holy trinity of gardening than these three. And these three are going to have a word with you here. So uh, let's start here with a word from Bob about Victory Gardens. Bob, what do you got to say? Hey, thank you, Father Peter. I am a fifth generation native of New Canaan. All my ancestors were farmers and had small farms here in town. I was born on a small farm here in town. We all had gardens at one point or other, and especially during World War I and World War II, they were known as Victory Gardens. Now, they didn't start out being named Victory Gardens. They were first called War Gardens or Food Gardens for the defense and they grew vegetables, fruit, herbs, and planted uh, many private gardens on private residence as the war went on. And after World War I and II, a lot of these gardens were phased out because there was no need for them because food supplies in the United States after that were plentiful. But now, with the situation we're in now, it will be going back to more of a victory garden type situation where individual houses can have small gardens and grow vegetables and turn them into food pantries or use them for their own use, which would be beneficial to everybody. So I would encourage anybody that has any kind of a property to use or a deck or a patio to grow a small garden for vegetables they can use or give to their neighbors. And that would help our situation that's going on now. Thank you, Father Peter. Thanks to Bob, how about that? Isn't that fascinating? Bob's personal history, history of our country, all brought into today. So I wanna have you see somebody else who so many of you know so well, Brian Holstein. Brian is the founder of this Gospel Garden uh, and really was uh, the master behind it all. Brian himself is a master gardener. And Brian's gonna say just a word about how it is that you too might create one of these home gardens, one of these good news gardens on your lawn. Brian. I wonder if you might just say uh, a word about somebody who says, okay, I like Brian Holstein, I'm gonna follow his way. How is it that I can make a home garden? Can you just give us a few hints on that? Yeah, sure, I, I, would, I would recommend doing this raised gardening activity. Uh, the beauty of it is that you can control what's in here in terms of the, uh, the soil and, and the fertility and what have you. So uh, I would suggest going out, uh, get yourself a few boards, screw them together, fill it up with soil. Very often the towns around here, at least in Connecticut, have compost uh, fields and you can get, get uh, soil for it. Toss the soil in, get your seeds and water and look out for weeds. Thank you, thank you. Master gardener that he is. Now finally, as far as the Trinity is concerned, just a word from Margaret Roscoe. Margaret uh, came back into the garden here several years ago, really re-energized it, 
uh, and has done incredible visionary work. She's expanded the, the whole capacity of the garden in many other ways beyond just the footprint of the garden. Uh, yo, so far away. Margaret, how about a word? Okay. Thanks, Father Peter. I'm here to let you know what's going on in the Gospel Garden right now. We're fully planted with cool weather crops, spinach, lettuces, kale, broccoli, Swiss chard, radishes, leeks, onions, and strawberries. As the season goes on, we'll plant tomatoes, cucumbers, squash, and beans, etc. In the next three to four weeks, we'll be ready to start distributing to the New Canaan Food Pantry and person to person, where I am told the need has doubled. For the last five years, over a ton of fresh fruits and vegetables have been delivered each year from here. Tying into the idea of the Victory Garden, two years ago we started a program called the Gospel Garden Givers. A lot of you already have a garden at home or are thinking of growing veggies. Sign up to be a giver and every Monday throughout the season, a portion of your homegrown harvest will be added to the Gospel Garden deliveries. We'll make it really easy for you. Check out the St. Mark's website for more information on the Givers program and how to sign up. Thank you. Back to you. So there you have it. It's Father Blue Jeans here with Holes in the Knees. Just to finish up, you've heard from the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, the, the Mother, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And uh, aren't they amazing in all the work that they do? So I'm back on my own lawn, walking the turf, trying to see where we might put a garden. Our kids have been out here and they've chosen this old spot here where there used to be a tree, uh, trying to figure out if this is the place for the light. Uh, I don't know the answer to that, but perhaps you might walk your own grounds and see if you might figure out a spot where you too could uh, uh, put your holy gospel garden here as part of the great movement to, uh, to take upon ourselves the work that God has given us from the creation that God has given us to feed ourselves and to feed others to the glory of God. It's all part of our mission. Go and make disciples who live a deeper life in Christ, more holy communion with one another, and a greater love for the world. This is part of our greater love for the world. So peace be with you and uh, happy uh, Mr. Green Jeans and uh, take a look at the Gospel Garden. If you have any questions, I hope you'll reach out to Margaret or to Brian. You can do that through the website at the church. They can tell you about the Gospel Garden too. See ya, thanks for joining us today. Thank you.